All about baldness with Sally today from 10 on BBC Radio Derby. Now it seems that we have some American football stars in Derby. The University of Derby's team has just won the Northwest Conference by beating Sheffield 14-6 at the weekend. And according to Derby quarterback Joe Brammer, it's the best that they've ever done. He's here this morning along with wide receiver Alex Priest. Good morning to the two of you. Hi, Thanks Ian. for joining Hi. us and many yeah. congratulations on this. Um, I don't know what I expect today. I thought you were going to be a lot bigger than you actually are. Presumably <laughs> this is just the shoulder the pads that give well, that impression no we're, we're not the biggest players on the team we're probably the smaller ones yeah but um our positions are a lot different there's you know there's so many positions on the team that we're more suited to positions that don't actually have to do a lot of hitting and contact okay but, so you're more about speed are you um, definitely, definitely yeah <laughs> you see i can tell you are alex because really? you're quite slim built yeah. aren't you yeah, so clearly I got get, a bit of pace I get about you. i get that a lot yeah but what happens when you've got a giant of a man heading towards you you uh, just kind of have to take it, really. Just <laughs> kind of close your eyes and hope for the best. But uh, you get to what your technique and that, so um, you, you just kind of have to go back to your training and that. It's an unusual thing, isn't it? That um, I can imagine that for when you first went to uh, to Derby uh, University, um, you probably had your ideas of what you were going to do. Maybe get involved in football or cricket or you know, I don't know, public speaking. How did you end up with American football? Was it something that had come onto your radar before? Yeah, well, it was kind of the opposite of that, really. Um, <laughs> We've been playing before we went to uni, and uh, that's what we, we knew we wanted to play, carry on playing when we went to uni. We're, we're different, though, because a lot of people, you know, 90% of the team hasn't played before. I think okay. it's three or four of us yeah. on the team. And what got you interested? Because it's not that high profile in this country, is it? Well, um, I, I was lucky enough to live in America and grow up when I was a kid there. Uh, so um, I started getting interested in the game there, and then I moved back here, took a break from it for a while, and then found a team in Coventry and started playing there. And we went to the same school, Alex came along, and... That was about four or five years ago now, and now we're playing at the same university together. So how many team members do you need? Um, <laughs> you probably need 11, but realistically, 21 to as many as you can get is, yeah. is the best thing. And really. how, much was it, how difficult was it to actually find those extra players, but then also to explain the rules, explain the positions, uh, find people yeah. for the different positions it that you require? It takes a long time. Yeah, it's a hard game to pick up, because there's a lot of different rules, and it's obviously totally different to any game we play over here, any sport, so... Teaching them the, the basics is, is, is kind of easy, but then when it gets more complicated, it gets a bit harder, and it find, they find it hard to pick up, but they okay. get there eventually. They get well, there we've eventually. not got a lot of time, so let's just deal with your two positions, just to try and put that in our mind's eye. Uh, Joe, you're a quarterback, what does that mean? I am. Um, I'm basically the thrower, if you water it down. Uh, my job's to get the ball, um, call the play as well. Um, I get the play from one of the coaches, what play we're going to run, and my job is to throw the ball or hand the ball off to the running back. Just okay. explain what you shout. I've never understood um, that. We'll go pro right 32 dive, and that means the running back is number three will run through the number two hole on the offensive line. Does that not give away your tactics to the other team? Well, no, because we, we say it to our team, and then when we're, when we're on the line ready to go, we can shout other things like that will swap the side that we're running it to or other things that call out where someone's coming and blitzing from. Okay, and uh, Alex, I mentioned you're a wide receiver, which means yeah. what? Well, basically, I'm um, the smaller, faster, more agile people on the on the edge that Joe throws to. So we get called a number, or in a certain play, we have to run a certain route, which is in a certain direction and in a certain pattern. And then uh, Joe knows that, and then at the time in the right time in, Joe will throw the ball, and hopefully I'll catch it, and hopefully for a touchdown. Okay, so you're the glory hunter. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> right, you're the man that it relies on. Yeah, uh, I suppose bit. effectively, doesn't it? Um, and in terms of why you've done so well, why do you think that is? Because you were saying that it's the best you've ever done. Uh, we've got a great crop of new players this year that have never played before that have really taken to the game and gone to the gym, which is a huge thing in American football. You can't just go to the pub and expect to win and all of them have really made a difference and trying hard. We've also got a crop of players that have played before this year, like Alex has transferred from a different university to come here, and that's made a big difference as well. We've also got eight coaches that are really experienced and really doing well and put a lot of their time in, uh, which makes play? a difference. At the uni. Okay, the so you've got, all the, you've got a fully marked out pitch and all the posts we and do, everything. We do, yeah, on the 3G, um, and the university last year bought us a big American football goal that we can wheel out and put on there. Okay. And it's really can anyone come watch this? Anyone, yeah. Yep. Oh, what, what they, I'd love to watch, to watch this. When did you play it? <laughs> uh, next Sunday we've got a game. Well, okay. this Sunday coming up. All right. I might pop along and have a look. Because uh, I don't understand the Super Bowl. It's one of those things that I've always wanted to stay up and enjoy, but other than the adverts and uh, you yeah. know a bit of Beyonce, it kind of goes <laughs> over my head, really. Yeah. Um, how far can you go, do you think? Um, 
well, we think all the way to the championship this year. We've got, I think it's three or four games to win, and then that'd, be, that'd mean we'd win the national championship. Um, it, we, we've won the conference now, but we've got one more game left. So mathematically, we've won, but to be the true champions of the conference, we really need to win this game on the weekend. Yeah, we don't want to give up yet. We don't want to. We're not selling for anything. Yeah, just we're, not we're, not gonna, we're not going to ease off, you know. They've just said in my ear, they said, why don't you see if you can go training with them? Does this <laughs> look like a body that could train with American I, football? I think someone came down from the BBC before. Did yeah, they? Yeah, We've yeah. probably never seen them again either. <laughs> uh, well, listen, look, congratulations on what you've achieved so Thank far. Thank you very much. Thanks Good luck lot. with uh, the future. And Joe Bremer and Alex Priest from the University of Derby's American football team. Have you got a name? Uh, the Derby Braves. The Derby Braves. Yeah. Okay, well done to the Derby Braves on their achievements so far. John, Joe and Alex, thanks for joining us. Are you weather dependent, by the way? Uh, it was raining lots, but... Doesn't matter. <laughs> no. <laughs> rain, rain slit or snow. Okay, uh, Charlie, it doesn't matter if it's raining for our American footballers. <laughs> what are they going to get? Well, on Sunday, actually, it looks like we might get some rain.